Hello, Salt Strong Nation. Joe Simons like diamonds. Luke Simons like diamonds. Doubled up there. Simons like diamonds. What are we talking about, dude? Strike spots. We got strike scores. We have all kinds of cool stuff on our insider club. And now we faced a problem, right? We had too many fishing spots. We had too many fishing reports. And it was getting tough to kind of find what you're looking for when you see just like this countless sea of little pins, these little dots on our map, which we're going to pull it up in a second. And so we came up with strike spots. Yep, it's the ultimate, uh, really the, I would say the next level, the next gen in our quest, just to make sure that Insider Club members are spending their time in the feeding zones and minimizing their time in the dead zones. That's really what it's all about. It's, uh, that's our number one goal for all members. And this new tool is, uh, is a very helpful tool to do just that. And let me go ahead and pull this puppy up. Yeah, so let's pull this thing up. And so, as Luke mentioned, our, our whole, what we wake up every single morning is, is how can we add more value to our insider club? Uh, it's our foundation. It's our family. We have, you know, getting close by time this airs, we'll probably be 17,000 members strong. And um, I think the number one thing that we hear, and maybe you can relate to this, it, that's an issue or even a, an objection of not joining is, is time. Like, guys, I just don't have enough time to go through all that. And we get it. We're, we're busy. We all live busy lives. We're busy people. Completely understand. And so we're always trying to think of, all right, what's some shortcuts that we can give? And uh, what, are, what are some ways that we can just simplify and kind of curate all this information? We have so much information, so much data inside of our club. We've been doing this for now four and a half, five years. And we have thou literally, I don't know, 15,000 spots or so on here, fishing reports. And of course, we have all of our fishing reports are on the water reports and all these trends. And so we're now we're just trying to make use of this data for our members. So obviously, we're doing this as a podcast. If you're listening, even if you're not a member, you're going to at least get an idea of what we're doing. And hopefully, by the end of this, if you're not a member, you will be joining. You will be signing up today. Uh, not only to save money on all your tackle and all the other great stuff we're doing on the tackle side, but just to save time, right? To, to be able to, to find that feeding zone, the whole 90-10 zone, right? In, in, in any area we've ever looked at, never fished in our entire lives, uh, around 90% of the feeding fish were just in 10% of the area. And, and we want to put you there. And that's really what the strike spots is, uh, is all about. So what we got here, Luke, we have a, a picture of the map. This is only insiders can see this. And if you're listening, this is a map. Luke's got it kind of zoomed in from Texas to basically the bottom of Virginia. And it's just peppered with with these little pins and every one of these pins is a fishing report some actually like on the water like full-on like tons of video some just hey a catch report of here's where i caught a fish redfish speckled trout whatever it is here's what lure bait i was using kind of some tips and tactics weather tides all that great stuff yeah so basically what we created is like a facebook group on steroids and because what we're looking at here, obviously the, the posts are like a Facebook group where you know you post a picture, um, share a cool story, something fun that happens on the water and, uh, and a lot of engagement's happening there. But, but also on top of that, um, members can pin their spots to just kind of share some helpful tips on like, okay, like where they were. And um, so at first it was just the pins were very helpful, right? But now there's so many of them. Right? We'll zoom in, right now we're zooming into Tampa Bay and there's so many pins that it's it's this overwhelming. Yeah, if you're really, if you really if you're listening to this, just envision someone scrolling in on an online satellite map to say, let's just say St. Pete, where Luke just hovered in, and you can't see land. Like you can, literally can't see anything. There are just so many spots uh, peppered all over the place, uh, and it's really all. I mean, there's obviously land. You can't even see water. You can't see anything. Uh, that's crazy that we have and obviously so each one of these is an actual post right and so there's 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 a, an absolute wealth of information I, I ever slam. I every it. day yeah so you can see you know each one of these pins is an individual report from a member um, and you can see what they're using some helpful tips um, and it just takes a lot of time to go through those so what we did is now we have this uh, this extra feature called strike spot so for all members when you're in the community platform uh, and you click this little hamburger menu, you're going to see now strike spots. So in addition to all these other things that we already have, this is the latest and greatest, and it's pretty, uh, pretty darn awesome. And so what it does, it's like a heat map. And so based on, uh, we now have, I guess it's been two years old, Joe, when we started this, maybe longer. Which part? I can't remember. 
the, the, the actual community where people can post uh, their, their, their pictures. And yeah, yeah there's multiple yeah, it's probably years been of two and a half years. Yeah. Yeah. So over two years of, of data. And so we're just looking at now year over year trends. And so the, the idea is for this to, um, and this is a, a cool feature we'll talk about, but the idea is for this to help you identify the areas that are most likely going to have the feeding fish based on historical trends. And this isn't like, okay, um, October 15th of last year, we caught a fish right here. This is, it's never, every year's different. And so we have, it's like a, you know, a little over 30 day window back and forth to, uh, to help just show the overall trending. And uh, right now it's just showing it by date, but we're in the process of adding the extra stuff like incoming tide versus outgoing water clarity. Uh, was it windy or not windy to, uh, to help even give more data? Um, so just to show how it works, we just click again, whatever date, I'll just throw October 15th in there. And so now this, what we're seeing is a heat map of which areas had activity in that approximate time range. So and this we, is, this is the 90, 10 zone, right? You were eliminating if like, if you don't see any kind of heat map, which would be yellow, orange, or red, you're kind of eliminating the areas that should be dead zones. So right, right here and there, we're already just from this one simple view saying, hey, eliminate all the stuff where you don't see color. And then it's like, wow, this makes it so easy. It's kind of like the top spot maps, right? Top spot maps are cool because it kind of gave you an idea of what areas should be good, but why top spot maps weren't effective if you listen to that podcast is, I mean, it's just stagnant. It's just like one area for the entire year. This is taking it to the next level based on real reports, not just some random dots on a map and it's shifting over time, right? Obviously areas are going to shift from summer versus winter uh, just based on how the, the, the fish are shifting. So this is really, really, really cool. And um, like I said, we, we've spent a lot of time uh, messing with this and just kind of using this data to make sure it's, it's accurate. And there's maybe still a few bugs. I mean, cause it's still kind of in beta mode for our members, but for the most part, it, it is eerily, uh, eerily, eerily, eerily accurate is that right Luke I don't know I'm, yeah we're not uh, definitely not grammar experts but uh, and, and so and you can zoom in so I I'm gonna uh, leave the zooming in for the insiders um, because this is again this is all insider club only but yes you can zoom further in and the cool thing too is you can just quickly look at this and see where the hot spots are so the red are the hot spots that's where a, a large uh, amount of, of uh, reports have been reported and then we can actually click on those to get some helpful details on on what was happening, right? So it's kind of like those hotspot maps, you know, that have you can like look at the thing and then look on the other page and try to like read into it a little bit. But it just gives just a little bit of information, and here it gives just a lot more. It's a lot more and it's a lot easier. You just literally click on it, and you can see what's been happening. You can see the popular lures. You can see the the common species that were caught, and again, just a wealth of information. And as I said before, this is just, this is brand new. So we're going to be adding to it, but um, just wanted to let everybody know that it is out and uh, it is available for all members. Yeah. And I love that it talks about depth. It talks about, you know, um, what lures they were using, what jig heads they were using. I mean, this is just a wealth of knowledge. And, and now, and, you know, Luke already every single Friday does this 10 minute smart game plan and that's just 10 minutes. Like you watch that, you're going to have an, an edge on everyone else fishing that weekend. And so we wanted something else that was going to be short and sweet, you know, because time I get it is, is probably the biggest reason why, why people don't catch as many fish because they don't have time to study a lot of this stuff. They don't have time to do all the pre-trip planning that they need to. And so we just wanted to make it super easy for our members that, you know, you could do this uh, in, at the ramp. I mean, literally that morning and say, all right, I'm fishing today. Let me look at it. And then I love this sonar aspect of it uh that to me that's such a cool thing and, and if luke can slide and if you're listening there's a little toggle switch that luke is moving back and forth and on one end it's basically google maps and the other end it's sonar so you can actually see depths and you can zoom in to go down to the pretty pretty granular level uh i know luke doesn't want to do it too much just protect you know our members uh, you know, kind of information here. Uh, you need to be a member to see all this stuff, but I love that sonar piece because that's another great ways we did on a, a prior podcast to, uh, to kind of find some hidden honey holes. 
and to find some ledges around areas you fish. And many times you, you'll, you'll see that, Hey, it's is a red zone. And guess what? There happens to be a little ledge uh, right here. There happens to be a little pothole uh, right here in this, uh, this area. So I love that sonar piece of it. Yeah. And so that's it. We just really wanted to highlight this. It is, uh, it is awesome. And it, it'll be only getting better as we add the extra layers, right? We're going to talk about, we're going to add in the, uh, you know, the wind, the, the, the tide and coming out going just to, again, just to help you better isolate the, uh, the zones. But again, this is really just about finding the overall, this ideal spots. And, and this is again, just a big summary of the, the, uh, the actual data, which are the, all of these pins. And uh, so I actually, I, I still like the map, you know, they're both helpful. The pins are great because you can actually click on one and then see some details. You can also interact with who posted it, right? So if there's somebody who's fishing near you, a lot of people are, are meeting some new fishing friends from this. Um, again, just that's what it's really all about is just helping, uh, helping fellow anglers out, uh, meeting new anglers and just, just having fun, having more fun out of the water. Yep. And Luke, let's, why we're on here, it comes up quite a bit, especially with new members who, who get in and, and maybe they're a little bit intimidated, go to the, back to the community and, and let's break it down by region. Cause I, I think it, it can be confusing because we now have, you know, 17,000 members and, and, you know, 15,000 or so fishing report. I don't, it might be more than that now. Um, I don't even know where we go see the count on that, but go into the actual community. Luke, and, uh, and let's kind of show it by region, show where some of this stuff is for new members who are maybe even joining us today and can say, oh, okay, cool, I, I get it. Because uh, when you, this is the main page, right? So if you're watching this and or listening to this, this is the main page of our insider club of, of the private community. Uh, obviously we have a separate page for the discounts and, and the exclusive tips and the cheat sheets and, and mastery courses, but this is really just the community. And and, and what we try to do is we kind of merge Facebook with, with forums. Forums are great because they're organized, right? Forums are great because they have categories. You can break them down by regions, whereas Facebook's just this one big, long, you know, long wall that just never ends and is constantly refreshing. And if, you know, if, you, if you're if you gone for a week, you kind of miss everything. Uh, whereas this is is documenting and, uh, and, and putting little tags on everything, and you can see over here, you got all fishing reports. Yeah, so I guess 14,208. Uh, you've got broken down by Q&A, tackle fishing tips, et cetera. And then down below is you got the, the regions. And this is so helpful. So, you know, I think one of the first thing a lot of members do is like, oh, I, I want to see what's happening in my area. So like if you click on like Tampa Bay, uh, these are regions we have highlighted here. Yeah, and, and so, and obviously you can customize this. So when you do log on, you can customize your regions and we're gonna be updating this page. So uh, this will be changing here in the near future um, because what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna have quarterly, um, uh, basically quarterly game plans to uh, just to help for every single region. We're interviewing some members who are, who are um, um, active in there and obviously know their stuff just to give the localized intel uh, by, by season on on what things to focus on and so this is going to be um updated to you know to highlight that uh that that you know that regional guide obviously the the courses that come with this the finding spots mastery course the positioning and approach course in the inshore fishing 101 you get that at the at the macro level for bec for becoming a member but this extra course is going to be something for the the actual regional level just like the regional nuances you know, the, the core is, is across all regions, but there are, you know, some regions have some little nuances that, that will be highlighted on those. And so we can just scroll through and just see what's happening for that particular region most lately, most recently. Yeah, and then obviously all, everything, go ahead, Joe. These are all pretty recent. Yeah, these are all, you know, just hours ago. Um, and, and what's cool, I've noticed that with, you know, all these new members, this is, yeah, all these were just here in the last 24 hours. Um, I mean, it's, it's like every 10, 15 minutes, there's a new fishing report going up. And, and I personally like watching all of them. So I don't go to a region specifically. I, I like just seeing the main feed. I, I personally just love seeing what everyone's doing. And uh, you can learn so much, even from, from other areas. Uh, but to Luke's point, I, I do get that different regions are different. And like when I went up to Georgia, I mean, fishing in, in St. Simon's Island is definitely different than Tampa Bay. And so guess what, you know, went right there into the, to the region, see what's going on. And we did really, really well. And uh, we have Dan from Savannah just did what Luke talked about, kind of a, a breakdown of, uh, of that whole low country uh, region, if you will. 
and, uh, and everything that he's learned and, and types of spots to look for based on the season and based on the conditions. And that's uh, super, super helpful. So if you're an insider member and you haven't seen that, you have to see that. Uh, we're, we're doing it now from Texas and obviously through Florida where it started up to Virginia and everywhere in between. So uh, that is going to be just another way that we're helping our members, helping, um, help, helping you, the, the angler, just maximize your time, get more tight lines, have more fun out on, on the water and, um, and, and ultimately help you save time, not, uh, not, not waste it going from dead zone to dead zone. Like so many of us, uh, you know, tend to do when we're not prepared. Uh, we've been in, that's why we build this stuff. This is like everything that Luke and I wish was available, you know, back in our, our 15 year journey of, uh, of struggling to catch, you know, fish consistently. Yep. Yeah. Just, uh, that's, that's the latest and greatest for the club. And yeah, we're, we're pumped. We've been working on this for a while and, uh, and yeah, and so far the testing, you know, we, we launched it kind of the beta test and I had some, uh, had some members try it out and, and, uh, it's, it's been it's, so far the, the results have been great. So we, we are very confident that you're going to like it as well. And obviously it's not just for Tampa, it's for the entire Southeast, really from Texas. Um, we have now enough reports for, for really all the Southeast states, Texas, Louisiana, uh, Alabama, Mississippi, obviously both sides of Florida, and then up uh, up north of the Carolinas, even uh, up in Virginia. So wealth of information in there. It is, uh, it is impossible not to learn some extremely helpful stuff from so many just anglers who are just here to support one another. Um, so for anglers, we do have, you know, we have a lot of full-time guides who are in there. And uh, because again, this isn't, this isn't for newbies. This is for people who are serious. Uh, it's really for inter intermediate to advance people who are serious about getting better um, because human intelligence is, is key. Um, no matter how good of a logs of logs we, uh, we keep, I, I know for sure I, I was keeping very detailed log. I was way too detailed and I was getting kind of uh, uh, lost in the details and just, just, just near term recent human intelligence is the number one thing. Um, it trumps any sort of historical data points. So this, this is just helpful in the fact that you can see the, the general areas, but the, the human intelligence inside the community platform is really the number one, the number one, uh, uh, at least the thing that I recommend the most, because there's, there's no, nothing that can beat recent human intelligence. Love it. And then a couple final updates. We've got a lot of new gear coming in. We finally got some rods, uh, St. Croix rods. We got TFO should be coming soon. Z-Man Slam Shady finally uh, coming back. We've uh, we've got some cool stuff. So just one more reason to become an insider member. All of our members get 20% off or more. Uh, we recently released that bomber at 30% off. So a lot of our, our own kind of private label products we're, we're giving you guys an even bigger discount. So uh, just one more reason to, to save time, save money on all your tackle. And we're, we're kind of like the consumer reports, consumer reports of, of saltwater fishing. We don't have any sponsors. So we go out there and, and put this stuff to the test, tell you what, what's a great value and, uh, and what's not. And, uh, and I, I know if you haven't joined us already, you will save a lot of time. You will save money and you'll meet friends too. I think that's an important part. And, uh, and one final piece we've, um, we're in the process now of moving our office to a much bigger place uh, that is also going to have uh, a really almost like a, a secondary office. It's, a, it's, a, it's right next door, but it's almost like a secondary little building that's got its own entry and everything. Uh, real high ceilings. Uh, there's enough room to make a, a short cast. Uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't bomb one, uh, but we're going to start doing events there. So we're going to start inviting our insider members only. Uh, and that'll be another another way that we can all interact, learn from each other, bring in some uh, some experts, and have some fun. You know, bring in some uh, some food and some beers, and uh, and and have a great time. So that's something that we've always talked about doing, and uh, and this just it, timing felt right. You know, I think we've all been pent up for so long with with this COVID, and uh, even if we can't enjoy it the way we want to just yet, I I, I know I know we're going to be turning uh, kind of. To turning the tide here soon on that and we're going to be able to to really just embrace this new space even though it's a little intimidating because it's it's so much bigger i mean we're basically going like five times the size of what we have uh but it's going to be awesome the 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 just the ability to to have a big building where we can bring in people from all over the the country really and uh and just to have a good time and still do a little fishing you know that's not too far away 
I'm, uh, I'm really, really stoked. So be on the lookout for that. It'll probably be early next year by the time we all get completely moved in and, uh, and are able to have our first event. Uh, but we're hoping to kick it off first of the year. Might even have a little, you know, end of the year Christmas party if we can uh, make it happen. So stay tuned on that. We appreciate all you guys. And if you're not an inside member, give us a shot. Uh, we would love to have you in there. You'll see really quickly why we have 17,000 members. It is, uh, it's just such a helpful and, and friendly environment where people are actually sharing their tips. They're sharing what's working. Uh, it, it's night and day difference versus all the other stuff that's out there. And then that's why we don't really have any competitors because no one can really replicate this. And a lot of it comes down to the people that are in there. And uh, we've, we've been just so blessed and so fortunate to have really great people who don't belittle and don't curse and are not slandering and just talking trash. Like it happens so much on, on social media. And uh, we're going to keep it that way. And, and in fact, your insiders who are, who are uh, members already know this, but you can't even curse. I mean, we've, you know, because we built that, that community from scratch, we have it where if you even try to curse, it bleeps the whole thing out. We uh, just don't even allow it. We, we don't have time for it. Uh, we, we want, we want positive people and it's very rare that you even see the bleep. Normally it's when someone types in some other slang word and it thinks you're cursing. You're really not. Uh, it's been been pretty funny to see that. Someone's like, I promise you, I wasn't cursing. It just, you know, bleeped out whatever it was. So guys, thank you again. Come join us in the club. For those of you who are members, thank you so much. Give us feedback. Uh, this is there right there in the community at community.saltstrong.com and you'll see the strike spots right there in the drop down. So uh, get in there, play around with it. Give us feedback. If you see any issues or any bugs, let us know. Uh, we want to make this thing awesome. And if you see any other ideas, you know, from all this data that we have that we can use to help you out, to help you find the feeding zone, the 9010 zone faster, let us know. We would love to hear from you. Other than that, Luke, we out. Good times. Peace. Peace.